Hello my fellow ACAS, this is Liz, I'm a Lenovo Certified Technician and today we're going to be discussing what to do when your Lenovo keeps overheating. Now to get, the first step is we're going to have to get inside your computer because unfortunately a lot of overheating issues uh, involve getting inside the laptop to fix them. So I'm going to use my pry tool. You may need to look up a disassembly video for your model computer if necessary. And I'm going to take you through the troubleshooting method that a technician would use. The first thing I would look for is liquid damage, any spills on the motherboard. This is a really common reason. So we'll try this first to see if there's anything that could be causing it. I'm going to use my microfiber cloth spray to the 70 to 90% alcohol solution and I'm going to wipe off any liquid spills I see on the board and I'm making sure to inspect the whole board and gently clean off any liquid because this can make connections that aren't supposed to be there on the board. And I, if you can remember any specific spot perhaps getting some liquid, say you might even need to take off the motherboard and check the underneath, making sure to clean it and making sure that it's dry of any alcohol before turning it back on because this is a big cause for overheating. Next, I'm going to show you how to clean your fan. This is another big reason why people, uh, you know, have issues with their computer overheating. And now I'm going to unplug it and then I'm going to take the two screws and I'm going to undo it. So I've examined my whole board, cleaned any sort of spills or liquid off of it. Now I'm taking the fan off. I'm going to take a high pressure air cannon. You could also use a hair blow dryer or a can of compressed air. I've included the can of compressed air and the air cannon down below. This is what your fan looks like. If you find that it's still loud, this is what a replacement part number for a Dell fan looks like in case you feel you need to order a new one as opposed to just cleaning it. Sometimes just cleaning it isn't enough. Sometimes if you find it's not turning on properly or it makes a really loud noise even after cleaning it. So I take the cannon and I give it a good, uh, you know, run through with that air cannon and clean out any sort of debris. Next, I'm going to clean the heat sink. This is another big reason why a computer overheats is the fan and the heat sink are not working properly together. Okay, so now that I've gotten the heat sink off, I'm going to clean out that little vent there because the fan takes the air and it expels it through there and all that hot air goes out. If that those two things aren't functioning properly, your CPU and motherboard can't stay cool properly. So I'm gonna give it a good uh, blast with that air cannon. I do recommend these air cannons because as you can see, you can clean out the inside of your computer really easily. Um, this one's not particularly dirty, this computer, but Sometimes you open it up and they are filthy because you know you use your computer for everything. The next thing I'm going to do is use some thermal paste on the CPU. Uh, I forgot to clean off the CPU before doing this, but I do recommend that. Uh, now, as you can see, it's dried out and there isn't much on there. So I go ahead and I put some new thermal paste. I put a link down below with some good quality thermal paste because not all thermal paste is created equal, people. You gotta get the good quality stuff. Uh, so go ahead and as you can see, put your heat sink back on and there are four screws and it is kind of like putting a tire on. You have to go one screw and then across the way to the other screw at an angle so that you don't get one side tighter than the other. Okay, so I've got thermal paste and my motherboard's clean. Also be careful not to touch it with the oils on your hand, your motherboard. Don't get all, uh, you know, touchy with your motherboard. You'll regret it. It can cause problems, the oils on your skin. So hands off people. All right, now I install my fan and I go ahead and I plug it in. Make sure it's plugged in securely because one big bummer is is worse than your fan not working properly, is having it not work at all. So make sure it's tight and snug, put it back in, do a good job people, otherwise you'll regret it, because I have done this before. You close your computer up and then they give you that horrible fan error because you didn't plug it in properly. So make sure to do that. And now, so my motherboard is clean, new thermal paste. 
I have my fan clean, my heat sink clean, and that is how you fix an overheating problem. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and one of our certified repair technicians will answer you. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.